Hello everyone and welcome back to Golden Sun Dark Dawn. Last time we had, well, we turned on the alchemy forge, but not completely. We were missing some crucial parts to it. One being the, the, what's it called? The soul mask and another one being ice powers. But I think the ice powers might be later on that we need them. And so we came to the, the city of Caucho to meet the peop its people. I'm sorry, I'm just feeling too much tired to do anything except look at that fish. Yes, but could you please look at fish somewhere else? Because I need to get that uh, little fatty there. That looks a bit round, really. Another one? Mates, what the f... How... Do I get over there? I think I know how. Hey, what the? Come on! Lantern, stop blocking my path. What is this? Tea house, closed. Okay then. I was not expecting the tea house to be closed now, but... There are some well-crafted uh, furnitures indeed. And it's just an empty pot. Okay then. Then I guess what I will be doing is look at the next pot. Oh, nice! That's a bomb! What does it have a bomb for? Seems like everyone has left the, uh, the city. What is this one? Oh, nice! We got some money! <laughs> some money. Got five coins. Hello, old uh, elderly. Our way back! King Wind Emperor Unan of Shanan, our original homeland, were at each other's throats. Emperor Unan, the, this wise and educated monarch, ruled Sana from the capital of Tonfon. He succeeded the war like uh, Emperor Ko after a bloody civil war, uniting and bringing peace to his war torn country. That was when tragedy hit, uh, struck in our co uh, colonies in Morgul, which is in the northern half of the continent. If you didn't know, the Emperor was too busy dealing with King War, so he didn't have time to put down a revolution that flared up in Morgul. And his sons living in Morgul had to run for their lives. That's how the Emperor lost control of Morgul. No. Oh my dear, would you please give a gift to my grandchild in Sana? Sure. Okay, here's a gift and I've tucked that letter inside of, uh, of it for my grandchild. I have complete faith in you, my dear. Well, we have a gift. My grandmother's gift. Uh, what is his name, though? Could you please find my grandchild and give her my parcel? Please, I'm relying on your kindness. Yes, but I have no idea how it how she looks like. Can't even use it. I'm not though. But nothing happened. Okay, good. <laughs> I was not expecting to be able to use it, but I guess that's fine. Oh, that's cool. Uh, let's see then. Can I? F okay, that one is not connected to the other one. Hello. The shops in uh, Sana are said to be better than this one, but I think there's great stuff in here. Hello, master. What do you have? Welcome, stranger. Take a look at our fine weapons and armor. We have a broadsword, which is kind of strong. But I have something better. Oh, the bronze shield, though. I will take. Mm, can you give that one as well to that one? Yeah, there you go. Thank you. And leather gloves. Oh, it's better than my armlet. Hmm. And a wooden cap as well. It's a bit expensive, though. I'll give one. But there seems to be... N oh, maybe artifacts. Yeah, there you go. The Bless Ank. Hmm. 1,600. You know what? I will take it for that one. Here you go. No! Okay, there you go. I didn't want to want to sell it. That was why I said no. But I didn't sell it, thankfully. What about you? Have you mastered this one yet? Not yet. Afterwards, I will give you the the magic rod, I think. So Tyrell still has the blow mace, which I have no idea what it does. Boost hack. It does something, I guess. Okay, then let's go ahead to the that's items. Yeah, I think you know what. I'm gonna go ahead and look what's over here. Can I? Get... Halt! Wait. Hmm. 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 
Are you adept? No. I don't know. Keep going. Shoo. I'm not gonna trust him now. Uh, I can't. Oh. Yeah, I think I know how to get to the other side then. I wanna get the other Earth. Yeah, the Earth genie. And afterwards, we'll say hello to that guy. So let's go ahead and do a whole turn around the whole map. And in case he didn't, oh well, in case he doesn't believe in us. Look what I can do! Whoop! Doop! Aha! Did not believe that one, did he? Yeah, okay, well, let's see. <coughs> yeah, there's be nothing special here, though. I was thinking, is there a secret here as well? But no. Okay, and then... Hello, little one. Do you want to join me? Oh, yo, yo! It's a kissy face one. Forgot his name. What was your name again? Steel. The Venus genie Steel joined you. It's set to Karis. This love spirit is first found in Kaocho. Steel's attack is a vi uh, vitality stealing kiss. That leaves the enemy wanting more. Wait, what? <laughs> We got a kissy demon. Wait, now I think about it, I need to go all the way back again. Don't die. Uh, well. Wait. What is over there? Oh, no, nothing. I saw in the map that there was some, uh, a ladder bringing somewhere, but... Come on. Jump. There you go. But that was just with the way that we came from we came from, so that's fine. Okay, then let's go talk to the to the old guy over there. So that he might let us enter. Halt! We already had this, mate. Hmm, I am very amnesiac. Are you adepts? Yes. Our apologies. We didn't know you were lot were the adepts we were expecting today. You're expecting today? Head inside, please. King War is waiting. The Kaucho Palace. Nice. Now we can go down without any trouble. Hello. When the Emperor of Sana passed away, King War should have gotten his throne. But Unan stole it from him. Now King War will do anything to take it back from him. Even sell his soul to the devil. And who could blame him? When King War came here from Sana, we to found. Kaucho, our Emperor Ko was still alive. Back in those days, our old home was still the strongest country in Angara. Just as this new palace was finished, the Emperor Ko died. Ever since then, San has become cowardly and weak. Well, some would say... Cowardly and weak is the way to go. Adepts in the ancient times. The modern adepts appear to be the key to understanding the ancient ruins. For the adepts have descended of the Janae, the ancient people who built the civilization that fell into ruin. Furthermore, as alchemy returns to the world, we run the risk of being dominated by the adepts once more. Culture military dispatch 2. Ayutai has always been regarded as a troublesome country by King Wu and his generals. They won't surrender their boot bountiful soil and rich palaces without a fight. It won't be an easy battle for Kaocho. In Kaocho military dispatch number 1. Without that passage, would we'll quickly fall to the military might of Kaucho. However, far from waving the white flag, they launched a counter-offensive. Shamefully, we lost the battle. Stop battling. Make peace. Sometimes it's better. The labyrinth down those stairs were built by the ancient ancestor of the Ayutai. We can't figure out how to penetrate its mysteries. When we were on friendly terms with the Ayutai, we asked for any inside. They refused to part with the secrets. Yes, because you immediately went into war afterwards. They knew how the king behaved, so... Didn't trust you. No one's closed, okay. A shame. I was expect- I wanted to do the... The... What's it called? The labyrinths without any trouble. But I guess I will have to talk to the the king first. So here we go. <laughs> My new adepts are late. You promised that they would be in culture by now. Let's hide. Um, hiding. 
Yes. You don't look friendly. <laughs> so I did, King Wu. They will arrive at any moment. His Majesty does not wait for any me uh, men, Chalice. That is impertinent. This woman brims with a beauty that's rarely seen among the people of Angara. Chalice has become a tr uh, trusted advisor of King Wu's court. Though it seems that her well, a strange wealth of information is what has caught the couchers, couchers ruler's attention. Hmm. Kanchuku is correct, Chalice. So the steps had better be worth my precious time. Kanchuku, this uh, cabinet uh, minister of King Wu's court oversees Kaocho's military effort in passage in uh, Yuhei. Kanchuku has grown frustrated by the failures of his troops, and he fears gro King Wu's growing displeasure. <clears throat> I think they're talking about us. No, I don't think they're talking about us, they're talking about someone else, I think. The King Wu guys, there is a real creep. But what does he want with us? If I may speak, my king, the adepts will be worth their weight in gold, if they can breach the Ouroboros. That's what Alice has promised, Melissa. But I still don't know why we trust this foreigner. This woman is a sentient to King Wu's advisor, Ken Shuku. In practice, however, Melissa is the one who keeps King Wu's court in off on course. Her shrewd insight has earned her a permanent place next to his throne. My dear Kenshuku, I know far more than you will ever know. I know far more than you ever will. Hmm? How dare you! Spare me, Kenshuku. And do try to look impressive. We have guests. Finally, my adepts have arrived. What? And now you summon your own guards, Chalice? You go too far. Your personal soldiers are quite unusual, Chalice. It looks, like one, it looks like one of those soldiers that attacked us below the confound ruins. Like one of Bal Blado's men. Get away from us, villain! <laughs> well done, men. Now get out of my sight. Hmm. They disappeared. Now, Chalice, tell me exactly who our little visitors are. Uh, let me do the honors, your majesty. Those are adepts. <laughs> you bumbling toady, Kanshuku. You really know nothing at all. There's a... These are quite exceptional adepts. So you, Chalice, with a name like that, you've got to be walking with that cocky Blados. And you know of Blados? Then you are my adepts. Shit. Yeah, like that uh, Chalice said. We're uh, exceptional adepts. Don't say another word, uh, ca uh, Tyrell. Uh, shit. Ah, so your name is Tyrell, is it? Now he knows my names. Sure, whatever. And this is Matthew, he's our leader. Mm, what a scrumptious information, Matthew and Tyrell. Two names I won't forget. Now that we've confirmed you truly are my adepts, I hope you're everything I've been promised. They certainly are, your majesty. Those adepts have the power to fulfill your greatest ambitions. But which will it be first? To get the relic from the Ouroboros or help your army in Ayute? Hmm, the relic or military victory. I've waited so long for both that I can hardly decide. The Ouroboros? An army in Ayute? They think you are here to help them with something. They're idiots if they think that, right? Ha ha ha, yes they are. That's the spirit, Matthew. We're not just going to get pushed around like that. These guys sound pure evil. They don't realize what an honor it is to serve the great King Wu. I think they're even refusing you. No, uh, refuse? No, those adepts sh won't be able to resist once they hear of the powerful artifact in the Ouroboros. You clearly aren't paying attention, Salis. That sounded like no to me. Have your relics heard of the relic found in the Ouroboros below? It's a mask of considerable power and importance. Yes, we do. Hmm, a mask. Where did he heard that it's the... So, have I enticed you? No. Oh, I don't mention... I don't believe that for a moment. You must be a little curious. I already know what's inside it. So, have I enticed you? No. I'm just going to repeat that. Sure, whatever. You won't leave me... Uh, 
without saying yes. Of course, for clever adepts, you are always seeking out such things, are they not? But if you get your hands on that mask, it's all mine. Why would we go? Why would we go all the way, all this trouble for him? Don't ever consider consider disobeying me, adepts. I must have that relic. It is a key to the power that can help me wage war like never before. Your Highness, may I suggest that we send the adepts to Ayute first? The A mask may take too much time. And generals are in need of urgent assistance to complete our siege of the castle. Those adepts could tip the scales in Couch's favors. Ayute will finally fall. I give this plan of my seal of approval. R write it up and give the letter to that magic person there. The letter is quickly written and completed. King Wu, if I may beg you to listen to the letter, to ensure it lives up to you the measures of your majesty? Yes, yes, get on with it then. Yes. To Kutsu uh, Tsung and General Takaucho army, the courier of this letter, Matthew, has pledged his loyalty to our, to our royal cause. This royal loyal servant and his companions have sworn to use Epsani to help you cross Ayutai. Wu, King of Kaucho. Well, I think Annihilate I use him would have captured my sentiment better. But yes, the letter is fine. Here you go. Have the letter. Yes, we got Wu le Wu's letter. <sighs> Hold on a second. We're not just going to be used like this, are we? Nah. Yeah, there's no way any of us are going to fight in the, his war. I mean, I like fighting, but not for him. How dare you? Who are you? Please to question me, the will of Kaucho. Are you telling me you adepts will refuse to fetch my cast and serve my generals in Ayute? Perhaps I was wrong, your majesty. Maybe those adepts won't bend their knees to Kaucho after all. They don't really realize that pledging loyalty to the great King Wu is an honor. What? Fuck off. <laughs> and they clearly don't know what that sort of rebellion earns around here. So Adepts, you want to explore the Ouroboros to steal its relic for yourself, perhaps? Hehe. <laughs> Let's oblige them, your highness. Ah, Chalice, you are a viper. Yes, I agree. Let's get him to the Ouroboros pros post haste. Um, guys, let's take off before this gets any uh, weirder. Yes, maybe we can find our way to the Ouroboros ourselves. I have a bad feeling about this. Hmm, <laughs> Uh oh. What are they going to do? Summon the guards? They're going to pull something, that's for sure. I think they're going to pull a trapdoor on us. What do you tend to do with us? Dispose of you like rubbish! Rubbish? Uh, your magic, can we talk this through? Uh, shouldn't we run or something? It's time to. Uh, the time for talk is over. You have vexed, King Wu. Now, Your Highness? Away with them. Oh, yeah. I have a bad feeling. Whoa! Your Majesty, that rubber will trouble you no more. <sighs> now we have to find a new batch of adepts to help us breach the Ouroboros. Oh, how much longer must I wait now? What you say, uh, Chalice? In truth, I haven't given up on them, King Wu. What do you mean, Chalice? True adepts have a way of proving their worth, can uh, Shoku. And I think that those adepts are diamonds in the rough. If they survive the fall, they will soon learn that they can't truly enter the Ouroboros. Not yet, anyway. Serving you in Ayute would have polished them up. That would give them just the strength they need. I, su I suspect that this isn't the last we will see of those adepts. They'll come back to Kaucho when they are ready. Now that they know what's in the Ouroboros. Wait, Ouroboros, that's that snake, isn't it? And that will bring us to that treasure. All the way down. Ouch. I believe we didn't even fall even more. Oh, I guess you could say lucky. Where are we? Ugh. I would guess that we are somewhere within the Ouroboros labyrinth. Making back! Oh, poor Ty Tyrell. Why would they put us down here anyway? We made it clear that we are not about to help hand over any relics to them. Maybe they thought that we uh, that we wouldn't survive the fall. But if they desperately 
If they're desperate to get the mask, why would they risk it? Hmm, I bet they're playing a dirty trick on us. They probably hope to trap us here with no way to get the relic. And no way to expa uh, escape e either. Well, we're not going to uh, to rot here. Let's find our way out of this trap. Yes. Onwards when we are down, down below. We've seen that before though. Those, uh, what are they called? The soul cubes. Can I use something on those? No, I can't. Because you always know when uh, something is usable with Psynergy. For example, that one. That one can be moved, I think. Uh, okay, it's not like in the first game where you have no idea if you if there's something behind them. Here it's like, yes, there's something obvious behind this one. I guess if you didn't have signage, you would, would have already been stuck here, I guess. So that's nice. So let's just move this one out of the way and continue onwards. Boing! Wait, Coucho again? Oh! And here we will get out immediately? Weird. Now we are over here. Hmm, there is nothing else we can do though. Which is a bit of a shame, really. But that's it then. There is nothing else we can do at the Ouroboros Labyrinth, at least not for now. So let's go to Ayute then. Maybe with this letter we'll get a bit of a hand up on him. On the generals of, uh, uh, of war. I think that's a good idea, so let's go. And... But... <coughs> Seems to be another. Well, hmm. How do I say this? Uh, oh, nice. We must the elven rapier. Uh, what, what? What did I want to say? What did I want to say? Come on, think, think. I have nothing in my head. Hobble gob. Okay then, hobble gob. Uh, let me think. Let me think. Ah, uh, come on, my head is a. Is a mess at the moment. Sleep on? No, don't put me to sleep, mate. Another one? Okay, at least I didn't get uh, infected. Uh. Oh, come on. No, my head is really out of it. Oh, nice. That was good damage. And I got even a knot. That's nice. I'll get over those. But the it seems like they have, or rather, the, the king of couch show is walking with Blados and his men at the moment, or from what we have seen, at least. Which hopefully we'll deal with them later on. Ouch! Another sleep bomb, of course. And this time already the last one. No, he isn't. Okay, good. Wait. Nope, there you go. That one is felt. That one as well. <laughs> kind of weird that all the... How do you say? <coughs> the elements... Oh. The status effects always get uh, released. Not released, but removed at the end of combat. It's always like, oh, Reeve is sleeping. Now he's waking up. He's waking up at the end of combat. Okay. But what I was saying, oh nice, with the cow, the, the cow, King War rather, him walking with the, the, what's it called, the blood of uh, troops, we haven't found many of them, uh, we haven't see, heard much of them, at least not for now, so I think they might be our main evils at the moment, oh nice, Ragnarok, let's use it, because I've missed that weapon. You know what? I'm gonna use not restore, but drenched. Carry the sleep. That's nice. 
sleep good. Oh yeah, huge little, uh, huge sword in the, on, in the face. I just killed both of them, I think. Yep, there you go. Uh, oh, quick sphere. Quick sphere. I don't think we've. I was an uh, sign in the first game. Come on, so many enemies. What can that one do? Oh, it's the. It's an increased one. Okay then. I guess I'll just use uh, Ragnarok then. And another Flash Bolt and a, a Heat Wave. And the Drench. We're going all out now. But. Uh. Man. I don't know why, but my head is hurting at the moment. I wonder what would have happened if we tried to enter here first. Uh, seems to be like these men are just... Oh, I think that's why. We needed to go back first. Oh, well, to go to couch first and get that ladder. Because now that we have the ladder, we can continue onwards here. And they ignore those guys. What is that kind of tree? Can I not? Uh, no, I can't. Okay. These warriors here seem to be... Those are warriors from the uh, couch that we just... That we saw as well in front of the, the castle. Hello. Are you from Ayute? Yes. I don't really care either way, but you can't enter right now. In fact, you might be at risk staying here. We are waiting more orders for a siege of Ayute. What if I show him... A communication from the palace? Yikes, that's not for my eyes. <laughs> what if I uh, show it to these guys, I think? Uh, don't surprise me like that. You don't belong in there, not here, not now. What if I show you this? Is that a letter from Caucho Palace? Wait, we didn't have Caucho yet? This powerful nation was founded by King War, who covered the treasures of the AJ region and wages war against Pajaz and Ayute. It's a letter from the palace. It must be from the king. Hmm, let me read. From the looks of it, King Wu has sent you. So you're here to, uh, to aid our southern Ayute? Yes. Welcome then, friends. We need gold warriors to help Kaucho smash Ayute. Come on in. Yay, now they let us go in. A general Kutsung uh, and Ku Embra are across the pond. Letter us uh, to see them. Yikes, I mean, lucky you. You better get that letter to the generals. Fast. And how do we get over there? I have a suspicion that it's like this. And it was like that. So poor uh, Karis, you will have no PP at the end. No, wait, no, I can't get there, right? No, I can't! No! So close, but still so far. Can I get at least to that side? Yes, I can, good. Nice. What treasure? Oh, nice, a cookie! I love me some cookies. And that cookie will be given to... I think... To Karis. I don't remember which one got the first cookie, so... And what do we have here? Here is nothing. Okay, and I think with this... At least in here... A good place where we can camp up. So, I will end the episode here. So then everyone, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And I hope to see you next time. Mm, bye!